So I've tested dozens of portable power stations, and I wanna share with you my top seven recommendations for the very best you can buy right now. But instead of just going one through seven, everyone has different needs and different budgets. So I chose the best portable power stations by size. We're going as small as 500 watts, category by category, all the way up to 7,200 watts, an absolutely massive one at the end. So no matter why you want one, from camping trips to boat parties, to tailgating, just having extra power there, or all the way to an entire home backups. And there are two that I think have a big star next to them. So I'll mention those when we get there, but these are my picks for the top seven best portable power stations and solar battery generators this year. So starting off all the way on the small end, 500 watts, we're getting 518 watt hours of energy on the inside, which means that combo can power a lot of smaller things. This is going to be great for charging batteries, powering a laptop, maybe a light, but it can't power larger things. Like you're not gonna power a toaster. And my choice here is none other than the Jackery Explorer 500. This one is a little bit older, but it's tried and true. It's something that so many people have been using for a very long time. And this particular unit has seen quite a few miles. This was actually the one that my brother used when he was living in his truck. So this is selling for about $350. A Jackery site listed at $499 originally, but I'll have links to all of these devices down below. There are some pretty massive discounts I found for you. So the Jackery Explorer 500, why do we like this device? Well, there are a bunch of features I like about this. For one, there are three different ways to recharge it. So you can charge it by solar panel, you can charge it in your car with a little car outlet, 12 volts, or you could charge it on a wall like a regular AC adapter. And the only downside with charging this is that it does take a fairly long time charging it by wall is like seven or eight hours. As far as the ports go, we have one AC plug on the right. In the middle, we have got three USB type A ports. And on the left side, we have our 12 volt, uh, essentially car adapter, how you could plug in like that. And on the right side of this, we do actually have an LED. So you could use this as a makeshift flashlight, but of course, not everything is great with this. There are a couple downsides to be aware of. For one, it's not the cheapest option out there. You're paying a little bit more for this one. Uh, and you'll see that in the next option on this list. But the other drawback, it doesn't have any USB type C ports, which means slower charging and you won't be able to power up your laptop without plugging into the AC port, which is less efficient to go from DC to AC to DC again. But the other Jackery models like the Explorer 300 do have a type C port. So who knows, maybe you'll see an update to the 500 relatively soon. The next drawback is the handle on here. Although I really like it for carrying things around, it does make it a little bit harder to travel with because you can't really stack anything on top of it. It's a little bit bulkier, but again, that's only 500 watts. So next up, we have something that's a bit more powerful. That's also way, way cheaper. So we're going to be talking about something that gives you 700 watts. You could use a toaster with this, which is a big upgrade. And you can make like 44 slices of toast if I did my math right. And even though this still won't power most power tools or larger appliances, it'll still work to charge up a lot of batteries, to power small refrigerators, lights, and a lot of other things. And my choice for this category is the Blue Eddy PS72. I've been using this for about four months now, and there's a lot that I really like here. This one has a lot of really cool features on here. Some of the things I especially like, for one, you might notice the handle on the top actually folds up which makes it more stackable in your vehicle, in your car, and also very easy to carry. And when you fold it down, you actually have a 15 watt wireless charger on the top. One of the biggest positive of this, however, is the price. This is $269. In addition, on the front, you can see we have five AC plugs on here. We also have two USB type C ports. Uh, they're power delivery 3.0, so that gives you 100 watts. So that's great for laptops and fast charging on your phone. And we have two USB type A ports if you need that. And of course we do have that 12 volt port on the right side. And on the back, one extra bonus is this big light bar here. This is kind of nice if you're like in a tent, for example, that's where I've been using this one. There are of course some downsides with this. The big one for me is that it is really loud when you charge it. It has a big fan uh, that just, is super loud, but giving this a little bit more of a label, I would say the Blue Eddy PS72 is my pick for the best on a budget. It's great for car camping, it's great for a day on the boat, uh, if you just wanna be able to plug a lot of things into this, and it's also great as just an emergency backup. Next up, this is the one that I think most people watching will actually end up buying. Remember in the beginning I said there were two devices that I, I really put a big star next to, 
this is definitely one of them. It just does a lot right. There's a lot of great features on here and it has twice the power output of the Blue Eddy coming in at 1400 watts with 882 watt hours of energy stored on the inside. And that means you could watch a 65 inch TV for about two and a half hours. You could make 52 slices of toast in a 650 watt toaster. And because you're getting 1400 watts out of this, you're actually able to power some larger devices, larger kitchen appliances too. You're getting into like air fryers, food dehydrators, things that actually produce heat. So some larger kitchen appliances. And my choice here is the EcoFlow Delta Mini. This thing is so compact. It's also so powerful and it does a lot that I really like. It's a little bit more expensive than the Blue Eddy, $549. But what do we like about this EcoFlow Delta Mini right here? Well, first of all, it's much more compact than all of the competition. Uh, the two handles on the side stick out a little bit, but they give you a nice flat top on, on, on the top here. There is no big charging brick. So on the back of this, if we flip open this little door, might as well just give you a whole tour right now. You'll see it is a really common 120 volt port, easy to find a lot of cables, and it's also a compact cable. It doesn't have a giant brick with that. Alongside that, you'll see we do also have a reset button as well as a slow or fast charge switch. So this can actually charge really, really fast in as little as two and a half hours when you plug it in with solar. You can have 300 watts worth of solar panels plugged into this or 96 minutes when you plug into a wall. Now, of course, fast charging is not good for the lifespan of a battery. So if you're not in a hurry, I recommend flipping that switch down to slow. Along with that, we do have five AC ports here. Keep in mind, two of them share the third prong. Down below, we've got our, our 12 volt port. And on the other side, our display, as well as three USB type A ports, including one of them is a fast charging port. And of course, a USB type C 100 watt port. Of course, the display above there, and you might notice this little IOT button here. This actually has an app you can connect on your phone and see like just a lot of metrics about it, how long it's gonna last, what your usage looks like. Some things I don't like about this device Honestly, there's really not much. This is my pick for the best for tailgating, for glamping, slash car camping, uh, and almost anyone out there that would want extra power, this is going to be a perfect device. It's a perfect size, the perfect amount of power for most stuff, most scenarios, and EcoFlow really seems to be among the most advanced out there, bringing the app on here and stuff like that. Like, it's really pretty pretty far ahead of a lot of the competition. Now, quick little detour on this next one. This is one that I absolutely love. If you're going camping, if you're going on the boat for a day, you might not need one of these larger batteries if you're just charging up phones and laptops and stuff like that. And maybe instead, you'd be interested in getting this. This is the EcoFlow Glacier, which is a battery powered refrigerator, freezer, and ice maker. It's $799, so it's definitely not super cheap, but if you're doing a lot of tailgating, you might not need to bring a battery with you. Like this could charge everything, and also it can make ice cubes in like 15 minutes. It has a freezer and it has a refrigerator. You can control the temperatures of both of them. They get incredibly cold, and there's a lot of really cool tech on here. You can power it up with solar panels. You can plug it into a car. It's really versatile and can be used in so many different ways. Some things I dislike about this though, the battery is actually sold separately, weirdly enough, and you don't need the battery. Like you could plug it into a, a wall or your car or something else, but, but like I said, it really only makes sense to me if you have that battery with it. But moving on to the next portable power station on this list, it's about double the power of the EcoFlow Mini. This is one that I had for about the past six months. I took it camping a few times. Uh, I really used it a lot. I used to use it on my truck bed as well. I have power tools. If I'm like building a staircase or some project up at a cabin, uh, it's really a, a fantastic device to have. And this is the Geniverse Home 2 Pro. It gives you 2200 watts and 2419 watt hours of energy on the inside. The model I have actually came with two 200 watt solar panels. It's a lot more expensive. The MSRP is around like $3,500-ish, but there are some sales. There's, it's always a discount of some sort, but this could power about 99% of home appliances. It's kind of hard to talk about this without having it in front of me. This has the same convenient charging cable that we talked about on the EcoFlow Delta Mini. You have three AC outlets, two USB type A, two USB type C, and weirdly enough, you actually don't have a 12 volt uh, adapter for like a car plug. I'm not sure why they didn't add that on here. Admittedly, I haven't actually needed that. So I haven't noticed it was missing until actually just this minute. Yeah, that's weird. Why didn't they add that? Now, some things I don't like about this, it's very heavy for not having wheels. It's about 60 pounds, which to me feels like the weight where you should have wheels on that. Also for the price, there's no app on here, unlike the EcoFlow, as well as all the other ones on this list I'm about to name. And although I really love the device and I've been using it for almost a year, I would really recommend keeping an eye out for lower prices. Like it feels 
a little bit pricey at MSRP, around like $3,000, especially when you see the next one on this list, which is a lot cheaper. Like I think the price is a little bit too much for this one. But moving along to a very feature rich device with a thoughtful design, plenty of power, almost one third the price of the Geniverse. This is from a company that we definitely all know. If, if you've ever bought any charging cables or charging bricks or battery banks for your phone, you've probably heard of Anchor. And so this right here is the Anchor Solix F2000. It's a 2400 watt portable power station that gives you 2048 watt hours of energy in there. So a little bit less energy, but more wattage, so more output on here. And right now it's on sale for $1,400. Like I said, way cheaper than the Geniverse. And again, remember in the beginning when I said there were two devices that I really put a star next to and I think they're just such an easy recommendation. A lot of people will end up buying them. This is the second one. So the features I like, we have wheels and a handle. So the handle actually extends when you push this button, it goes all the way out. Uh, so that's fantastic. It's also stackable and expandable. The wheels on the back are rated for like 120 miles, which to me felt like not the longest rating. It also has a light bar across the entire device. We do have two 12 volt ports down here. We have four AC outlets and a TT30 outlet that'll be great for powering like an RV, for example, you can plug into that very easily. We've got our GIN Prime fast chargers over here, so three USB Type-C ports. Below that, we have two USB Type-A ports. There's also an app available for this to monitor and control it, and it supports up to 1,000 watts of solar input that can give you a full charge in as little as two and a half hours. So this is my pick for the best mid-size portable power station. Honestly, a really great price, hard to beat that great features, a lot of power on here, and a lot of outlets. So this could be fantastic, of course, with tailgating and glamping, like I said before, especially with the wheels on there, or this could be great for RVs or, I mean, even as like a home backup. So like I said, this is the second device on this list that really has a big star next to it, and I highly recommend, but the last one is just so, it's, just, it's such a behemoth. This thing is so crazy. It's on another level. Let me just set this down first. So finally, number seven on this list is a device that I'm personally so impressed with. This thing is absolutely massive, but it can do so much. It's so capable. Starting off at 3,600 watts, but scaling up to 7,200 watts and giving you as little as 3,600 watt hours of energy and up to 25,000 watt hours of energy. Like people literally power their entire home with this and live off the grid. This is the Delta Pro. It was $3,700, so definitely really expensive, but my link below gives you $1,200 off, which brings it down to 2,500. Still pretty expensive, but a lot better. And these numbers are, are pretty massive. They're way more than everything else on this list. This is giving you 50% more wattage than even the, the, the anchor that I just mentioned a second ago. But let's talk about why this actually won. Some features I really like here. So for one, of course, there are wheels on this. This is completely necessary. And on the bottom, you can actually pull out a handle. So lift it up, easy to walk around with this. And there are two handles on the top. They know it's heavy. They put like a little fake leather kind of plasticky grip on there that does feel a little nicer, makes it easier to carry around. You can actually back feed power into your home with this if you set it up, if you set it up with a little back feed panel and you can actually get a 30% tax credit, I believe, if you use this as a power backup for your home. But of course, talk with your accountant about how to do that. This has a ton of ports on here. You're getting four AC outlets, that same TT30 RV hookup like I showed you before. And you have two USB type C ports, four USB type A ports, and this thing can recharge in so many ways. Like I said, EcoFlow does seem to be like just a step ahead of everyone with technology. So you can recharge this by AC in as little as two hours, or you can go to an EV station, like charging up an, like an electric car, like those stations, and you can charge this up in less than two hours. You can also plug in up to 1600 watts of solar panels. It's very scalable and I don't wanna say very portable, but it's a lot more portable than the other options that have this kind of power. And some people even use this to just kind of save money on power when they, like they use this during the day and then they, they recharge it at night using off peak power. So those are my picks for the seven best portable power stations. Leave a comment below and let me know which of these you liked best and maybe which one you like that I might not have mentioned. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing. I'm Michael Brown. Ryan, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next review.